Hello friends, this is my YouTube channel called PowerPoint University. You can find more than 200 plus video tutorials which are absolutely free and I have provided the download link for each video in the video description section. And if you need any assistance or help, you can contact me through WhatsApp on this number. And as usual, I need your support to make my content free. You can donate any amount as you like which will help me to make more free content thank you for your support hello and welcome to my youtube channel powerpoint university in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a four size portrait brochure design in powerpoint you can see here i have added four different photos uh, in semicircle and you can add the company logo on the top and below you can add the social media accounts like Facebook, Twitter as well as you can at the bottom you can add the company name and the contact details. So let's see how to create this slide in PowerPoint. After adding a new slide go to design, slide size, say custom slide size and from the drop down select A4 and slide size select portrait and maximize it now go to insert shapes and add the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key and make sure that only half of the circle visible inside the slide area Then go to insert shapes, select a rectangle, draw the rectangle like a line and give some different color, make it no outline. Press Ctrl D, one more line been added there, align it properly and zoom out and start bending the line. Press Ctrl D once again, again bend it. So I'm just going to make four uh, rectangle triangles here. So this is second and this is third and this is fourth. But instead of creating four triangles, uh, I have created five. So I'm just going to delete one line and then adjust it properly, give the equal size of the rectangles or the sorry the triangles so one two three and this also i'm just adjusting so i've got the four triangles there so i have to cut this one for this you have to select the all the objects by pressing ctrl a or you can just using the mouse also you can do it then go to merge shapes and say fragment Add a new slide, delete these two boxes, then come to the first slide, just select the first four triangles, copy it, control C and come to the new slide and paste it. You can see here the four triangles has been created which looks like a semicircle now. Now you can add the pictures into each of the triangles. Go to right mouse click format shape and under picture select picture fill and say file and select any image you want to add it here. For example I want to add this image and this is not properly aligned so rotate with shape untick that one and just give some offset to make sure that it is properly place in the object then second select the second one select a different image this also you have to come and untick the box rotate with shape make it this zero likewise I'm just going to do for the third and the fourth you can download some good images from the internet
and then the last one again uncheck the box and then you can make offset left all right so now you can see that four images had been added here then add one more oval shape send this to back increase the transparency level remove the outline and then I'm just going to cut the circle into half again by deleting the the left side so you have to make sure that you align it properly and then I'm just going to cut the circle again into half so using a rectangle select the oval shape then the rectangle under merge shape say subtract make the transparency level to zero and then send this to back you can add some good color here any good background color in this case i'm going to use a blue and then i'm just going to add one more uh, rectangle to add the text here align in the middle make it no outline send this to back and at the background of the slide i'm just going to give some gradient fill which i'm going to use some gray color dark gray and a light gray color combination you can give some good shades here and the direction you can change whichever you feel best for the brochure still I can feel the color is somewhat dark you can make it more a lighter gray then it's time to add the text go to insert text box and type the main title or the brochure headline use some good font in this case i'm just going to use the font called oswald if you don't have you can install it or you can use any default fonts available and bring this text on top of the blue rectangle press ctrl d to duplicate and bring it on top and here you can put the company logo and give some dark color to this and then below you can add a small at the center you can add a small oval shape where I'm going to add a ear here first of all make it no outline and press ctrl D to duplicate one more make it smaller and give this color as a white color and put it at the center and this two oval shape also I'm just going to cut into half add a rectangle first select the one oval shape and then merge shape say subtract then add one more rectangle and cut the other oval shape also into half
and here you can add the year press ctrl d the text and bring it here and make sure to reduce the size and then go to insert shapes select the oval shape again here you can add four small uh, circles where you can add the social media accounts like Facebook Twitter and if you have the icons you can just insert the icons here if you want three or four it's up to you and you can change the color of these circles make sure that this is aligned properly and give some different colors and below you can add a detailed description any text you like to add it here I'm just going to add some Latin text and you can replace this with your own text and at the bottom you can type the company details like website telephone number etc and if you have the icons of the mobile or telephone just add it that also which looks uh, more professional I'm just giving a call as now and at the bottom right side I'm just going to add the website or if you want to add some other information you can add that information so that's the end of the design if you want to do some animation you can add the animation to it so if I see here so this is how your A4 size washer looks like That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.